Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? So we're jumping back in to this concert with some Fleetwood Mac. Going to be checking out Rhiannon uh, on this one. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Uh, this looks like it's 6 minutes 39 seconds. Uh, take a listen. This is at the last, or the dance. Sorry, the dance. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a listen. My last one, by the way, before I get this started, was amazing. I did that. I think it was Silver Springs. So if you're new to the channel, checking out some Fleetwood Mac. I did Silver Springs at this concert, and my gosh, my God, what a feeling that song was. That was so good. Um, but Stevie, she can sing. The band can play. Let's jump in. Rhiannon rings like a bell through the night And wouldn't you love to love her? She rules her life like a bird in flight And who will be her lover? All your life you've never seen a woman Taken by the sky Don't go. And he says, Rihanna, stay. And he says, I still cry out for you. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. She's so strong in her presence. It's, ooh. those men together.
Great song, man. Thank you. Oh, I gotta see your smile. I think that's the first. Uh, Thank you. The first smile I've seen. Let me try to pack this up here. Uh, I think that's the first smile I've seen of her in these uh, two reactions here at this concert. So that was nice to see. Uh, what a lovely smile. So, Rhiannon, uh, I can't help now. It's at the forefront of my mind now about the... I guess there was a lot of drama with this band, and especially with Stevie and Lindsay. Um, so I can't help but have that at the forefront of my mind now when I hear their songs and wondering, okay, is this about their situation? You know, Rhiannon, uh, Rhiannon seems like a... Uh, a wonderful woman a, a woman that maybe people desire to have and to be with um and she's willing to i guess give herself to this person um and this person you know it's maybe they have each other for some period of time and uh he is scarred with her on his mind it sounds like at the end of the song there you know still screams for night type of deal uh, so I don't know. That's what I thought I heard, but let's go ahead and jump into this and um, get a full understanding. So I was looking for a little bit to find out what Stevie said about this song. So here we go. It says, uh, Stevie says, so it is, it's just about, it's just about a very, I'm trying to read it the way she wrote it so, or said it, so sorry. So she says, so it is, it's just about, it's just about a very mystical woman that finds it very very hard to be tied down in any kind of way and she's uplifting all through the song that's that's what i wanted to get and that's what the band got really well was the uplifting of wings kind of a feel you know when you feel like you see a seagull and she's she's like lifting up well that's that's rhiannon rhiannon yeah she's moving up so that's what she says now obviously uh, as many of you know probably she was inspired by a, song, uh, a, a book, sorry, a book named Triad, I think, uh, which is about a witch. Um, now, I don't know much about the song. Or somebody's possessed by a witch named Rhiannon. Um, so that's where she drew inspiration from the song. But according to her right here about the lyrics for the song, it was different than that. At the beginning, I, maybe I should have read that first. It says, and um, so I wrote this song and made her into what I thought was an old Welsh witch. And then I just ha uh, I just found out because somebody from Phoenix found a whole trilogy of books written in 1972 on Welsh uh, Welsh mythology that Rhiannon was a Welsh witch. There's a whole trilogy of books written about her called the Song of Rhiannon, which is pretty weird because I never saw that, and yet the song is exactly about that. So she didn't actually even know about the goddess. I think it is of Rhiannon until after she had wrote the song and the song was actually based off a witch possessing a woman from a book she read and then even then the song deviates from that into her own message about what she said there at the beginning so now it looks like the song was released in 1976 the genre is rock soft rock blues rock definitely get the soft rock blues rocks vibe 100 percent um and this song went longer than the album version and the single version. So pretty cool, man. We got a little treat right here with this one going even longer than the uh, performances on the radio or whatever. And on the album. So pretty cool right there, guys. Which one? This was off of, it looks like, is this a Sugar Daddy B-Side Sugar Daddy? So I don't know if that's the name of this album here. But I think the one that I was listening to was called Rumors with Dreams on it, right? And I don't know, I didn't see where Silver Springs falls, but... I think Dreams is from Rumors. So, yeah, it looks like we got a lot to get into here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you so much for tuning in here with me today. Really appreciate that. And if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the descriptions for other ways you can help the channel. Consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or my Patreon. That'd be really awesome. Thank you so much. And with that being said, I'm gone. See you on the next one, okay? Peace.